Nessa Sunshine here with this eye look from none other than the Norvina palette. So if you want to learn how to do this, then first subscribe to my channel and let's get into the tutorial. Uh, this is the Anastasia A10 brush. Take it into Soul. Now Soul has a like a sheen satin sort of matte finish. Put it in the outer corner, blending in circular motions upward toward the eye. Blend in larger circular motion. And as I go toward the crease, I'm gonna start to use a swiper motion. So here we have more of soul and then I'm going to start not where I started before on the lower outer corner But higher up here start to bring soul and swiper motions in the crease above the crease area of the eyelid Blending it back and forth now I'm moving in a circular motion blending it and you can use circular and swiper motions Those are the two kinds of motions I like to normally use when I blend my eyeshadow taking even more of soul onto my blending brush I'm just gonna keep going with the blending and deepening and depth and dimension. In the outer corner, just pressing it on. Press it up here too. Blend in a swiper motions. Use circular motions and uh, blow out the shadow on the outside a little bit more. I wanna just deepen up this a little bit further. Take that same A10 blending brush too into a volatile. Bring it right above the crease here. First pat it and then swipe it. Just very, very light and delicate swiper motion. Bringing more of a volatile to the outer corner, pressing it first, moving upward in that pressing motion. Use a very tiny circular motions going inward toward the lid. Now that we have this shade on, we're going to cut that crease. Take that concealer, looking forward, pushing the concealer above where the crease is. Bring it down and bring it down into the inner corner of the crease. If you feel like you've done many cut creases, then just cut away, cut away. But if this is something you're just gonna try out, take your time. Like I've said before, relax and unwind because you want to have this nice and precise. And if it's not coming out too precise, just keep practicing, don't worry. You can always try and keep trying again. Pat out all that excess with my finger. Taking the Ico brush into this color Celestial. Before I take the brush, I'm actually gonna take my finger with Celestial, place that all over that area. It helps the eyeshadow to look more BAM and to get the uh, shadow more poppin'. Spray that brush. Bring that shadow up to the crease, meeting it to where we cut as best as I can. Take the eyeco brush into Dreamer. Also, I'm going to spray and add this to the top of the shadow. Going into Dreamer, I'm going to spray it just very, very gently that time. Just spray gently. Take it here in the center of the eyelid, blend it a little bit, and then back into Celestial with that same brush. And then we're going to just blend all of that together. So this here is the Anastasia A14 brush. It's just a pencil sort of brush. I'm taking that also into Dreamer. Spray this as well. Spray. <laughs> that spray went in my. <laughs> I'm gonna take. It's still there. Ew. Take that in the inner corner to help to brighten up that inner corner. Moving up and down, back and forth, making like a little cross and then circle motions. I'm mixing Volatile with Soul, taking it onto the outer corner. Now let's continue on with liner for this lid. This is the Schwing Liquid Liner from The Balm. Going to the corner of my nose to create the wing. I press on a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. So now we have a wing. Attach it to the lower lash line. So I'm going to try the new Caution Extreme Hourglass and I actually got this because I waited in line at the Hourglass booth at Beautycon and the only reason I went to Beautycon was to meet Raw Beauty Chrissy and I met her and she's wonderful. So I'm excited that I got uh, this from it. I have this mascara. These are the Babella or B Bella or Babea or Babeja. I don't know. It could be pronounced so many ways. This is the doll face lash. These are very like I'm also going to add, this is the Side Real Shell Nabla Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow to give it definition. So I'm adding this. It's like the same sort of color, but it has like this really pretty sparkle and I think it will make this look really nice. You don't have to. It looks almost the same. It will look better for me when I take pictures for my Instagram. I'm going to go off the screen and go from this into this. Here we have the full face with a just a matte, a regular matte nude lip. Nothing special. Go into Volatile, pressing it 
it here in the lower lash line. I want it to kind of come down and swoop so I can leave some open space right there. This is the BH Cosmetics number no. 9 brush from their Lux Marble Set. Take that into Soul. And with Soul, I'm just going to blend this area. Blend it around town. Blend, 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 blend. And lastly, I will take the Anastasia A14 Dreamer into the inner corner. Add the mascara to the lower lashes to finish up this look. Adding uh, that on the lower lash line. And it's thick. So that is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this Norvina tutorial. There's going to be so many of this particular look. It's a purple palette and people want purple looks and there's only really one purple matte shade in here. So I don't know how original it is, but if you liked it, make sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Nessa Sunshine underscore. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye now.